What is up guys, Cam by here. There's gonna be a maintenance happening soon in Cookie Run Kingdom, so I wanted to make this video real quick to let you guys know of when the maintenance will be happening, when you can expect the maintenance to end, as well as what you should be doing before maintenance and what you can expect after maintenance. Alright, so to start off, the maintenance will be happening October 28th, 6am, all the way until 11am GMT plus 9, which is essentially Korea time. I highly suggest you guys look up exactly what time it is in Korea. You can simply go into Google and go and say what time is in Korea and find out what time it is in relation to yourself. And just bear in mind that the maintenance can go longer than the 5 hour period that they stated, and it can also end sooner. I will probably be posting the moment that I find out the servers go live on my Twitter, so make sure you guys follow me on Twitter if you guys want to know of when it goes live immediately. For the maintenance compensation, it doesn't exactly state what the rewards are going to be, but hopefully it's going to be the standard 3000 crystal we've been getting in the past. So now let's very briefly talk about what I recommend you should be doing before maintenance. So one of the things I recommend is that you should be converting a lot of your production crafts from short-term crafts all the way into long-term crafts, at least for the queues, because these servers should still be running in the background while the maintenance is going on. You won't have access server, but your stamina as well as your production and your build time should all be going down and ticking down. And in relation to that, you should also consider using some of your speed ups to kind of speed up some of your crafts if they are very short or very close to finishing up and will be finishing partway through maintenance. Essentially, if it has like an hour or less remaining, maybe consider speeding up so you can work on the next one and give it a 3-4 hour timer such as your laboratory, your builds, your bear train, etc, etc. Also, you should probably consider claiming your fountain if your fountain is going to overcap during maintenance time as well too and like i did say earlier try to make sure your stamina is low burn it on the dark world because there is currently a dark world um burn time event marathon whatever you like to call it etc etc now let's talk about what you can expect after the maintenance i did talk about most of these in my other news video so make sure you guys check that out but we'll quickly go over it for those that didn't go and watch that so you're going to be getting your compensation for all the errors detected for twizzly alchemist and toxic mushroom if you guys have not leveled these characters make sure you guys bring them up to at least level 30 and if you guys want to make them higher feel free to take them to a higher point just note that level 30 is the optimal point for the exp jelly refunding and try to get their stars as high as possible and for the next one, make sure you have your account linked to DevPlate so that you can get your 10 free magic cookie cutters, which is going to be exceptionally helpful with the new pumpkin pie cookie coming out. You do have to do this right before maintenance ends or right before maintenance starts. As you can see here, you do have to have it done by October 28th, 6 a.m., which is the maintenance start time. For the next one, the Mala Sauce Cookie event will also be ending for the promotion. You will have to have starred her by this point as well too. If you give Mala Sauce stars after the maintenance, it will not count for this promotional event here. Really quickly, I also wanted to give a reminder that the Purchase Pack bonus event is over. It ended right before October 28th, essentially one minute before then. And the rewards will not be given out until October 29th, essentially tomorrow. For those that are curious where the heck their rewards are for this event, make sure you guys do not purchase packs after the maintenance, expecting you to be getting refunding or purchase pack bonuses or rebates. After the maintenance ends, we'll also be having some new content with mostly the new cookie costumes where, we'll be, where there will be 47 new costumes where you'll have to have beaten stage 2-13 to have access to these cookie costumes and they'll be through a cookie gotcha with a currency called Rainbow Cubes. I'm going to assume that free to plays won't be able to get all 47 new costumes because there will probably be Rainbow Cubes featured in a lot of the packs and new packs after the maintenance is over. There will be cookie costume stories as well too, where it states 5 new cookie costume stories will be added, collect the costume sets and earn buff effects, collect new costumes from a set to unlock additional buff effects. There will be a new treasure as well called the seamstress pincushion which will be epic and the designer's aesthetic vision increases attack and summon duration for all summoned creatures which will affect things such as snow sugar cookie, licorice as well as the new pumpkin pie cookie. The probability of getting an epic treasure will remain at 1% even with the new treasure added, which means that they're essentially just raising the rate of epic treasures as a whole, probably lowering the rate of commons. Hopefully they're not going to be lowering the rate in which you get rares as well too, because rares are pretty useful in my opinion. 
And now for the big one. For those that don't know, there's going to be a new epic cookie called Pumpkin Pie Cookie coming out. Let's first read the skill description as well as the cookie description before we talk about the cookie. So Pumpkin Pie Cookie is a magic cookie that uses the skill Pon Pon Help. Its skill description is Pumpkin Pie Cookies Pom Pon grows to a giant size causing area damage. For a given period of time, Giant Pom Pon inflicts Melee area damage to the maximum of 3 enemies and applies a non-stackable debuff, decreasing the amount of healing the enemies receive. While on the battlefield, Giant Pon Pon increases attack speed for all allied summon creatures. Giant Pon Pon will be more resistant to interrupting effects while performing the first special attack. Also, Pumpkin Pie Cookie can use her decreased first cooldown to use the skill sooner. Pon Pon is resistant to certain interrupting effects. Summon creatures resistance effect details. Certain interrupting skills equal taunt, stun, shackle, silence, charm, skill interruption. So if you haven't seen this video from the official Cookie Run Kingdom YouTube, I will be linking in the description below. But you can see here that the Pon Pon will go and knock enemies up, which is going to be a great thing, such as Mango Cookie. It's going to be a great interrupt, which can interrupt skills such as Twizzly Cookie. And you'll see here that the developers are pairing uh, Pumpkin Pie with uh, Licorice as well as Snow Sugar Cookie. I think Pumpkin Pie Cookie with Licorice will be a pretty meta setup as well as Pumpkin Pie has a lot of potential since the knockup is a very good interrupt so that you can get your skills off before they do put your skills on cooldown. People have been theorizing that Pumpkin Pie Cookie could potentially compete with Tiger Lily in the meta because they knock up the increased speed for... Uh, other summons such as a licorice pump pure vanilla combination as well as a lot of different things pumpkin high brings to the table so i highly suggest you guys save your magic cookie cutters if you guys still have some as well as your crystals because pumpkin pie could be a very very good pull for a lot of players for story as well as for pvp all right lastly let's talk about the improvements changes and additions so the first one is that in the tropical soda islands when your first set of cookies is fully sun dried it'll automatically move onto the next set of cookies so you don't have to manually pick up the dried cookies before it moves on to the next set for the next one the summon creatures will now carry over the buff debuff stats of the summoner relevant for the moment of summoning which essentially probably means that the summons will snapshot to take whatever buffs they have. So let's say Licorice has an attack buff for two more seconds. The summons will have that attack buff fully throughout the duration of their summon, even though Licorice's buff will be ending. Same goes with debuffs as well too. No Sugar Cookie's Snow King will not disappear even after the cookie becomes incapacitated, which is gonna be a great thing because Snow Sugar Cookie could die and Snow Sugar King or Snow King will keep on spewing, especially with Pumpkin Pie Cookie, making it a little bit more viable. A new gauge will be added to keep track of cookies transformation time such as tiger lilies i assume or maybe possibly just werewolf uh, more flexible settings for the notifications and alerts will be added for those that are being bombarded with notifications or don't have a notification enough notifications themselves the ultimate goods package contents will be changed to increase the number of exp star jellies topping pieces aurora items together with the new currency rainbow cubes and you will be able to purchase the renewed packs even if you have per previously purchased it all right, that's going to be all for the video, but I am going to shamelessly plug that we are currently recruiting for the guild. We are in Holly Bear server as well as rank 29 currently. If you guys can score somewhere around at least 700-800k, feel free to let me know in the comments or in the Discord that you guys are looking for the guild. As well as we do have another guild that is for top 1% if you guys want to join a top 1% guild as well. Alright, thanks again for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below how many magic cookie cutters as well as crystals you guys have saved up for pumpkin pie cookie. Make sure you guys subscribe for more cookie run content as well as Genshin Impact content. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash pie to watch me play cookie run as well as Genshin Impact live. Well, join our Discord to be part of our cookie run and Genshin Impact community. And lastly, follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for quick content. Hopefully this video was useful to you and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!